<sighs> testing, testing. Testing, testing. Well, this is my first stream on my new phone. Oh man, are we having internet issues? I really hope not. Because then this stream will just become crap. Hi, Isabel. Anyway, so last time on Spyro's Ripto's Rage, we completed not 100%, but we completed as much as as many levels as we can. So now we're going to be just continuing. We're just going to be we're just going to be continuing on here. We're going to be looking to finish up the rest of this area. There's still more levels we need to do, so let's uh let's go finish. Let's go do them. So first, we'll do this one. Magma cone. You don't really need to YouTube me anymore, Isabel. Like, I've got my new phone, I've got my phone number, and you can talk to me then. So what's this level like? Wow. Wow, what a wow, what a dick. Okay. Smackdown was okay, I suppose. The only highlight for me The only highlight for me was um Bailey and Shotzi. Bailey like ran scared from her. Because Shotzi was trying to cut her hair off. Now we've got these giant golems again, do we? Hello, Sean. Hey! Get out of here. Move out of the way, you giant golem. Ugh. My god. Terrible. Uh, all right. Okay. So where do I go exactly? He climbs so slow. Yeah, I know. Spyro's so slow when it comes to climbing. So where do I go exactly? I might have.
I'm hearing a an oh no oh what the okay I'm straight up confused <laughs> I'm I'm hearing a oh no I'm not sure what I'm not sure what the hell that's supposed to be okay I'm kind of confused on what I'm supposed to be doing here. Hang on, am I supposed to... Ah, okay. Ah, okay, so that's what I'm supposed to do. I didn't notice that. Yeah, on her ex, yeah, like, it's not really Twitter anymore. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. There's a bunch of climbing. Oh, boy. We gotta... Oh. Oh, no. What the hell is that? What the hell is that? Oh, no, I'm hearing. Is it a part of the song? Hey, Michael. Oh, what the heck am I... What am I meant to be doing here? Ah! Duh! There's a pathway up here! I'm doing good! Smackdown was pretty boring. As expected. The only highlight for me was Zelina Vega beating EO. That was really the only highlight. While, while SmackDown was just a friggin' hype package central. Like, bloody hell, like every few minutes there was like a hype package. It was like, it was like one match, then hype package, hype package, then hype package, then, then a match, then another hype package, then another hype package. And then it was match, and then another high package. It was just a friggin' high, high package city. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, he just drooled, drooled, drooled on that golem. He. Two hours and twenty minutes of wrestling. Yeah, pretty much. Not yeah, yeah, pretty much. Not a whole lot of wrestling. It is. It is useless. It's useless. Be it's. It is useless, Sean. It's useless because it replaced Becky's match. Are you saying you'd rather a, 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 a random ass battle royal instead of a Becky Lynch match with Trish? What happened on SmackDown, Isabel? Not a whole lot. Bailey ran away from Shotzi and when it she cut. My best customer. The elevator in the next room can take you to the volcano. You can have unlimited use of the elevator for a one-time fee of only a few. It's a pleasure doing business with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever, money bags. Money bags is a greedy whore. Zelina B EO. Zelina B EO. Jay Uso beat Solo. LA Knight beat Sheamus. Or just don't have the battle royal at all. The battle royal is only happening. The 
the battle royal is only happening because bloody fans of LA Knight were throwing a fit. Can't live without a Slim Jim battle royal. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Like, oh, we gotta get LA Knight on the show. We don't want to upset the LA Knight fans again. We don't want to upset the LA Knight fans, so we better we better get him on the card. Screw Becky and Trish. Let's get LA Knight on the card. Don't want to upset the LA Knight fans. All right, so we want to be careful of the flame, but of the fireballs dropping down. Oh no! Oh. Okay then. Thanks for closing the lid on the volcano, Spyro. Things were getting a little too hot around here. By the way, here's a talisman I was saving for the party later. I think you deserve it more. Yes, I do deserve it more. Thank you very much. Yeah, I am. Uh, gems, glorious gems. There's actually more stuff I need to do, but I don't care about that right now. I just want to make progress. Yeah, skip. Yeah, I am liking my new phone. It's it's kind of the same one that I had previously, but it's just a bit bigger. I even had to get a brand new phone number, which I was okay with. Right. So clearly we'll want to come back here later for the orbs because we got to collect those. All right, next. Look, all right, next one. Let's go over to this one. Shady Ayus. Uace. I'm not sure how you say that. <laughs> ah, the thieves are back. Okay. Maybe MJF set, has set up Adam Cole. Spyro, it's a good thing you're here. I've been trying to get a berry out of this magic berry bush, but I'm just not strong enough. Shorty the Hippo. What a great name for a character. Flame the bush. One of those yummy berries should drop. Shorty the Hippo. <laughs> Short, Shorty the Hippo just knocked over an enemy. Mm -hmm. Kind of think MJF wins. I didn't get hit, Isabel. He's got armor! Get out of here. Yeah, I see the armor on you, buddy boy. I guess you'll have to glide across to this spirit. I see the gimmick here. <laughs> oh, jeez. That came out of nowhere. Sorry for the sneezing. Jeez.
go, shorty! That's her name, Shorty the Hippo. So go, Shorty! It's not. I'm not being mean. I'm. Just, that's her name, Shorty. Go, Shorty! <laughs> Yeah! Ooh. That was a little too close for comfort! Yeah. Turkeys! I think that's what those are. I would too. But this battle royal only exists to get LA Knight on TV. Or to get him on SummerSlam. And don't get me wrong, I like LA Knight, but I hate that WWE are forcing to put him on TV just because the fans are just. are, are, are annoyed about it. Okay, I don't know what that green thing does. Hey! Excuse me. Woo! Showing off some gymnastic st skills. Doot, doot. Okay, and bang. <laughs> oh, got him from behind. Alright, our next tree. Hitting the bush with one of those lava rocks should work. Oh, that's what that green thing was. Usually whenever football season starts for you Americans, usually our one, the Australia one, is usually um, starting to wind down. Yeah, we're only in August. Ours usually finishes in September. Spyro, three thieves have stolen our magical brass lamps. Please get the lamps before they take them away from Shady Oasis. Shady Oasis. Well, at least I now know what that. At least I know how it's actually said. Our grand finals are usually in October. Gotcha. But sometimes they'll be in September. Yes, he does. Bailey has the second best talk show.
Anna won against Sky Blue. Cool. I'm surprised she did. I definitely thought they'd give it to Sky. Ah! Come here, you. Gotcha. I think they only have two now. Bailey doesn't have hers anymore. It seems like Alexa lost lost hers. Or they're just or they're just deciding not to use their talk shows until they feel like it's necessary. It could just be that as well, Sean. It could just be, hey, we don't need to use your shows until it makes sense. Remember, Bailey did have hers when Toxic Attraction broke up. Thanks for helping me. With help from J JAS. Well, I guess that makes sense. Well, I guess that makes sense. It wasn't going to be clean. Hey, a win's a win for Anna, at least. A win's a win, I guess. Wins the win, I guess, at least. Oh, wow. Oh, oh yes. That was actually pretty damn good. I thought I was going to fail. Wow, I thought I was going to miss that, miss, miss that jump. It's another Optus phone, Isabel. <laughs> Two thousand and one. Two thousand and one gems. And, and also, they have too many talk shows, so of course they're going to limit limit the amount of talk shows. Well done, Spyro. Now that you have all 14 talismans, your guidebook can break the lock on the door, and you can fight Go. Are you ready? Hey, finally! You have to jump down the hole in the floor to get to where Ripto and Gulp are waiting. I can help you out a little bit. I tamed some pterodactyls from Skelos Badlands. They'll be dropping in objects that you can use to fight Gulp. Yay! It's time it's time for a boss fight. Go. We finally made Avalar ours. You've earned a special reward. Go. What is it, boy? Oh, the fairy. Here you go. <laughs> Zoe. Oh. <laughs> you singed my cape. Dragon, you are really starting to get on my nerves. Say goodbye, flame breath. Nope. <laughs> Lunch time. Oh, okay, here we go. Time for our next boss. It is Gulp. We better keep away from that giant mouth, cause he'll lead us. That's the that's the pun of his name. Go, finish him off, and you can have all the fairies you can eat. I'm going to enjoy this. Ooh. Come on, come on, go. Ooh, okay. Alright, so I see the... So, uh, okay. Got... Gotta keep running. I, you gotta just gotta keep running. Fake him out.
He was ready to squish me. He was ready to squish me there. Oh, I got a little too close there. Damn it. Wow. Wow, this boss fight's actually much harder than uh, the other guy. Crush. Oh, all right. Oh, oh, all right, this boss fight's a bit more, bit more tougher than the last one I did. Uh. All right, come on, girl. Alright, I know what I gotta do. Just gotta watch out, just got. Just gotta watch out. Just gotta watch out. Just gotta watch out for his attacks. Fake him out. Dodge him. He got, wow, he caught up to me. Did his speed just increase? Or maybe I was a... Whoa! Okay, he's shooting out more now. Either his speed increased or, 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 I, was, or, or, or I was just too slow. Quickly, quickly eat the butterfly sparks. I need the pit. Wait. Ah, I missed him. Holy moly! Lucky! Three more hits to go! Just three more hits to go! Come on! Come on! Come on, Gulp! Come on, big boy! Ah, so he... Oh, so he can, oh, so he can actually eat those barrels, the metal barrels. Oh my goodness. Just one more hit to go and he's done. One more hit to go and he's done. Come on, big. Come on, golf. Is that all you got? It's over, big boy. It's over, big green. <laughs>
Goodbye, Ripto. Spyro, you did it! Whoa! Laura, where'd you come from? I was just outside the castle in Autumn Plains. The castle is now free again. There's no sign of Ripto. And since you've been around, the creatures of Avalar are finally starting to get along. Since <laughs> you've done so much for Avalar, and since I know you've really missed being on vacation, we really wanted to do something nice for you. It's not much, but we hope you like it. Oh, wow, <laughs> this is great. Aren't you gonna join me? Uh, no. I'd like to, but I've gotta go check on the professor in the winter tundra. He's still trying to fix the super portal so we can send you home. Oh, that sounds interesting. <sighs> <laughs> I think I'll just hang out here for a while and soak up a few rays. <laughs> Uh huh? Hey, where did Laura go? I better follow her. <laughs> he fell asleep for about two. Jeez, he fell asleep for about about five seconds, and then he immediately woke up. Never knew dragons were light sleepers. Yeah, gulp defeated. We beat him. Long. I think I finally come up with a way to access the dragon worlds from the super portal. This power crystal should give us the extra boost that we need. Just a few more calculations to set it up. I think I have it. Excellent. Everything is finally ready. We're going to need a lot more orbs, but with the power crystal boosting it, the super portal should work again. Oh! Ah! Ah! Uh! So, you thought you had gotten rid of me. Well, I'm afraid not. I persuaded that fat bear money bags to sell me a few bombs. Quick, the power crystal! Don't even try it, book boy, or you'll be the world's smartest pile of ashes. <coughs> this is just what I need for a new scepter. Hunter, do something, quick! Uh, hey! Give that back! <laughs> well, you're so useless, Hunter. <laughs> you little fools! After I destroy you all with my new scepter, I'm going to rename this place Riptonia! <laughs> Good job, money bags, you you flog. Ripto's still alive, and he's locked us out of the castle. Even worse, he's stolen our new power crystal for the super portal. Oh, well, isn't that a darn shame, huh? Well, yeah, well, it's all well, it's all money bags' fault. It's all his fault. Pyro, it comes down to this. There's only one more thing I can teach you, and like all the best things, it. Doesn't come cheap. You s is very simple, really. All you must do is jump and then press the action button. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Smash! Give Spyro a massive headache. That's what the move should really be called. It should be called "Give Spyro a Massive Headache." <laughs> So, now that we have all the abilities unlocked, we can, we can make, we can backtrack a little bit, but before we do that, oh, sl sliding around on the ice, I hate ice. Uh. Well, it's some consolation that you've collected so many orbs. My high-tech portal here will take you to Cloud Temples. Well, somehow I had enough. Okay. Well, I don't want to go to...
cloud temples just yet. So we've got... Mystic Marsh. Oh, that's it, huh? We've got... Oh, is that it, huh? Surely there's more to this area. Hey! Hey! So that's it, huh? This is all that's left, huh? I bet you do, Isabel. I bet you really do. Well, I guess that's it. These are possibly the last two levels, and then we gotta get more orbs. These may be just the last two levels. There's a game on PS3 called PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale. Spyro isn't in it. But Sarge Cooper is. Not sure who that is. Oh, I remember this. If this is the level I'm thinking of, oh yeah, I remember this. Oh my god, what on earth? Slugs turned into elephants! How was that possible? How do slugs turn into elephants? I want to know! That evolution, that, that, that's like a friggin' Pokemon evolution! Hey, are you throwing Crash Bandicoot fruit at me? Things just aren't the same since our magic fountain shut off. It sure would help if you could find out what evil force is behind this disaster. Yeah, yeah, whatever, buddy. <laughs> Giant elephants. So how's everybody's day been? So how's everybody been? Yeah. Okay. Okay, we need to kill 20 enemies to unlock that. Excuse me, monkey man. Thanks for smashing that open for me, elephant. Yep, Ronda Rousey's last match is tomorrow. Let's celebrate! Woo! No more Ronda Rousey after tomorrow. The greatest day of our lives. Celebrate! Woo! Throw a, throw a celebration stream. <laughs> hmm. 
So yeah, be sure. Speaking of SummerSlam, be sure to be on the sh be here for the stream tomorrow because I'll be giving my thoughts on um on SummerSlam. So if you want to hear my full thoughts on SummerSlam, be sure to tune into the stream tomorrow because I'll give off a quick survive because I'll give off a quick review. Innocent ducks. We've got innocent ducks. We've got puffer fish. the only one that thinks the swimming in this is very awkward like up makes you go down and then down makes you go up I hate inverted controls that's the one thing I really hate inverted controls inverted controls are like literally the worst at least in my opinion it is I really hate inverted controls. Yeah, same. Yeah, same. I re yeah, same. I hate inverted controls. Yes, up should make you go up and down should make you go down. It's just very annoying. Funny, water can kill a bandicoot but not a dragon. Well, it well it could kill a dragon. Well, the, well, well fun fact, the water could kill Spyro in the first game. I've got a monkey throwing food at me while I've while I've been given an orb. I don't know what I was given an orb for, but okay. <laughs> I was given an orb and then I had like a monkey throwing food at me. Kill the dragon while he's distracted! Kill the dragon while he's distracted! Throw the food at the dragon! He's distracted! Oh, this is the this is the level. This is the part I hate. So next up, what we got here, we've got a bit of a mission on our hands here. So now we got to go around finding. We got to retrieve this guy's light bulbs, and I remember hating this. This is just really frustrating. Ronda Rousey won every title in WWE, so what else can Ronda do? She didn't win the NXT Women's Championship. What are you talking about? If you're going to say every title, she, she didn't win the uh, NXT Women's Championship, so not really. Celebrate. No more Ronda Rousey. Yes, celebrate. We got to celebrate. Come here, you. Alright, that one's an easy one. That one's an easy one. That's not so bad. That's an easy one. That one's not too bad. That's an easy one. Woo! <laughs> yes, it is party time, Zarman. Then you won't be invited. <laughs> 
then I guess you won't be invited. <laughs> uh, where did he? Oh crap, where did he go? Oh, there he is. You cheeky little... Oh, you cheeky little bastard. I really don't like this mission. But because we gotta get more orbs, I have to do this, unfortunately. Same, Isabel. You're in the same boat. We're all, we're all in the same boat. Mm. Well, you'll believe it tomorrow, Armin. These guys are really annoying. Oh man, these guys are so annoying. That's one of the harder ones. Uh, there should be another one. Imagine if we see Ronda Rousey show up on another promotion like impact I don't think he don't think Ronda would go to Riot City wrestling but I guess but I guess you'll never know I suppose I think Ronda is just done I think Ronda will be done with wrestling I don't want to see her showing up anywhere else. She deserves to stay the hell away. Especially she especially stay the hell away from Impact cuz Impact is doing great. Ah oh, man. Especially Impact. Impact's doing great. They've got Trinity and Diana Perazzo. They don't need Ronda. Sadie said in a group chat on Instagram she's having gears made. Awesome! That's awesome. I think I heard something, speaking of gears being made, I think I heard someone say that Maxine Dupree, who's a part of Alpha Academy, I heard someone say she was she she made she made her she's been making her own ring gear. Oh man. I have completely forgotten how to
gotcha! Ugh, jeez, that was only the second one I just got. Jeez. Alright! Oh, well, that was really stupid. Bianca makes her own. Her, Bianca makes her own, yeah. Well, clearly she. Well, clearly she's getting gear made, so the answer is no. I don't think she is. She could make her own, I guess. Where do I go to get that third one? I have really forgotten how how to do how to do all of this again. You know, whatever. Let's just get out of here. We'll focus on the rest of that another time. No sleeping on the job. <laughs> no sleeping on the job, mister. <laughs> That's basically what that guy was tell That's basically what that guy was basically saying. Kill the penguin. <laughs> Spyro, keep collecting those orbs. We can't send you to Dragon Shores until you have enough. Not only will the orbs help power the super portal, but they'll help you break into the castle. Alright, fair enough. Alora. So this should be our next, so this is going to be our last level for now. Cloud Temples. Why didn't he just do that from the start? <laughs> okay, whatever, good sir. I used to be one of Avalar's most powerful magicians. Until that big warlock over there stole my wand. He and his friends have used the magic within to take over the city. Oh, well, isn't that terrible? Well, isn't that... Well, isn't that terrible? Oscar retains Kamara. I can see her pinning or submitting Bianca. So Bianca can't... So Charlotte can be protected. Yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah, probably. I don't think Oscar is gonna retain though. want to feel bad like uh, like here's the thing like I can agree to an extent on people's feelings about the whole oh about the whole women's shit the whole women's division deserves better better nonsense like I, I can agree to an extent to that but the thing that really irks me is that fans say women d d deserve better but then they complain when People, you know, they like, don't get pushed. 
Like, I know people don't like Rhea, and they don't really like Raquel all that much, but that's what, but that's what pisses me off. Like, if you're gonna say women deserve better, if you're, like, if they're gonna say, like, women deserve better, then you should be fair towards all women. Like, you can't be all like, oh, women's, des the women's division deserves better, but then bitch and moan because, oh, they push someone that, that you don't like. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, that's, that's the thing that really an an annoys me the most about the whole, oh, women deserve better bullshit. That's what annoys me the most about the whole thing. Because you're basically saying women deserve better unless it's the people who you want. It's 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 more like it's who we it's the women who we want deserve better. Not the women's division as a whole. Like, don't get me wrong, like you don't have to be a fan of of the people they're pushing, but at least but at least, but at least, be fair. At least be fair about it. Don't just say they deserve better because your favorite wrestlers aren't being pushed. That's kind of been my whole. And, and, and another thing is, is that everyone friggin' gave Trinity and Mercedes a hard time when she stood. When that, when they stood up to the women's division, like when they stood up to the women's division. Everyone was all like, oh, quit complaining, quit crying, look at the, you, you've accomplished so much, stop, win stop complaining, you know? They kept telling them to stop complaining, and, then, and, and, and ever since they left, and ever since they left, it shows you that WWE haven't learned anything. So, so who are the real complainers now? Also, the thing is with Becky, I understand, yes, she should be on SummerSlam, but people were saying this is what happens when you want LA Knight. Yeah, like, that's the other thing. That's what I've been saying about this whole Battle Royal. This whole Battle Royal exists because of LA Knight. That's the only reason why the Battle Royal exists. Spyro, you have freed our city from the claws of those evil warlocks. Please, take this orb. I foresee that it will help you on your journey. Yay! Thank you, good sir. Like, I don't care if you don't like a certain a certain wrestler, but just stop being so annoying about it, you know? That's why I get annoyed when people talk shit. Like, why do you think I get so fed up when I hear people constantly rag on my favorite wrestlers? Like, not just Rhea, Bailey, and several others, you know what I mean? Like, why should I even bother voice my opinion about it when... Why should I even bother voicing my opinion about it? I'm a secret agent. I'm going to my secret hideout. Only members of my secret club are allowed to go there. I'm not leaving unless you hide behind that tree so you can't see me. I'm a secret agent. And I sound... And I... And, uh, I'm a secret agent. And I sound like a complete utter idiot. <laughs> I'm too fast for anyone to follow. No one will ever fi Huh? And this time I Oh. Who pisses you off, Armin? Huh? 
Huh? What the hell is these? Huh? I don't get... Oh! Ah, oh, mystical... This super... Oh, I see. I see what I, I see what I'm doing now. Uh, okay then. I got stuck. Oh, oh, I think, oh, I think I get what I'm doing now. I think I get it. Wow, this power up is. Very awkward. Whoa, this power up's very awkward. Like, I think I get what I'm doing. There we go. There we go. I suppose you want an orb for doing that. Well, I'm afraid not. There's still one bell left. You can get to it by using the whirlwind behind me. Great, gotta do with Edge in two weeks. Oh, we gotta celebrate 25 years of Edge. I know my brother's gonna be ha gonna be excited for that one. This guy's glitched. Ah, uh, so it looks like this one I've got to be a bit quicker. Where's the other flaming dude? Where's the other one? I saw there was two over here before. Alright, 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 Isabel, see ya. Oh, there he is. Ah! Oh, great. Oh man, this power up is so awkward. Huh? Hmm. So, hmm. Okay, so what am I supposed to do here?
this? Huh, this is weird. Huh, okay. Alright, so how do we do this one? Huh. Trying to figure trying to figure that out. Don't worry, I'll figure it out eventually. That guy clearly needs to be like that. Clearly I need to jump up. That's the obvious. Gotta jump up there somehow. Gotta jump up there somehow. Try waiting until they're right, right next to each other. Yeah, I'm trying to... Go, we got it. Thank you, Sean. There we go, we got it. I didn't think you could do it. Here, have a souvenir from the Cloud Temple's gift. Yes, we got it. We worked. We. Damn. Okay. So that should be... So where is our last... Okay. Alright, so we're done here. But yeah, like, it's just like what I said, like, I get why people want to say the women's division deserves better, but, but I find it hard to take the whole thing seriously when, when people are just going to keep complaining about the women's division. Like, even when, even if Bailey, you know, elevates someone like Shotzi, for example, you'll get the Bailey fans being upset. You'll get the Bailey fans upset, like, oh, Ba they've been using Bailey like a jobber. Like Bailey deserves better, man. Like she was the longest reigning champion, and 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 she's being treated like a joke. You know what I'm saying? And and, and it just makes me think to myself, it's Bailey. She'll be fine. It's not. It's Bailey. It's not gonna kill her. It's not going to damage her at all. If she if she puts over a few people. That's my main problem with fans who want to claim they care about the women's division, but then when, as soon as their favorite is booked terribly, that's when everything changes. Like, I'm not fussed when Bailey loses matches, because I know she'll be fine. And it's Bailey. And it's Bailey. It's not like she's. It's not like it's gonna bury her. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just wish fans would just just stop like if you care about the women's division so much actually show that you care instead of complaining that your favorite isn't especially for someone like Bailey like of course she's gonna elevate the division she's she's one of those selfless people You know what I'm saying? Oh! I found an orb! <laughs> I just broke!
shoot something and an orb came out of it. Like you get what I'm trying to say, right? Like, like it's Bailey. She'll be fine. It's not. It's not like. It's not like she's gonna get hurt from it. And same thing with Becky. Yeah, like oh, Becky loses one match. Oh, Triple H doesn't like her. I'm like, guys, seriously. Like, sure, I may complain about Cora Jade's booking. But the thing is with her, like, it just feels different with her. Like, for her, it feels somewhat different because she's like... Because she's like a younger talent, if you get what I mean. Like, she's a younger talent, so I guess it's fair for her. But when it's someone like Becky or Bailey, it's like, oh my god, guys, she'll be fine. Like, that's the thing I can't stand about, about, about fans. Like, they claim they care about the women's division, but then they will bitch and moan when their favorite isn't getting pushed. So, really, you don't care about the women's division. It has to benefit who you like. Cora is young and the future. She should be treated like that. Yeah, she should be treated better. She should be treated better because she's young and she's the future. But someone like Becky and Bailey, if they like miss a show or if they have or if they ha have a few bad nights where they're booked badly, like it's not gonna kill them in the end. It's not it's not gonna hurt them in the long run because they'll be fine. Same they'll be fine. Like, I wanna see like, I kind of want to see Charlotte booked like that, like, kind of like Bailey. Like, I kind of want to see Charlotte get booked like that, but it... But I think we're, we're at the... I think we're at the course where it's never gonna happen. Like, the company is never gonna book Charlotte poorly. Like, they're never gonna treat her like she... Like, they're never gonna treat her poorly. Huh? Something is shaking in that thing, but I can't open it. Weird. But, but yeah, like, I look at it as, you guys say you care about the women's division. I say it, it's, you care about who you like. Alexa's in the same boat. Like, she'll be fine. Like, she'll be fine. Like, she's basically a top star at this point. And I know a lot of people are going to say, well, that's the same. And I know a lot of people are going to be like, well, isn't that the same case for Mercedes and Naomi? Like, oh, they were already big stars. They were already big stars and they'll be fine. Yes, the case is true for Sasha. Yes, it is. Ca yes, it is true for her that she she'd be fine no matter how ridiculously shitty booking they put her through. But I think it's more the case of bad title reigns. Like all her title reigns were just forgettable and not memorable. Like Sasha is like one of those superstars who you feel has of the company material on all over her like that's the case for Sasha I feel like you could tell like she could easily be the face of the company that I think that's more the case on her for, for her Trinity is also different because she was there for like 10 years and she didn't win a single title so I can kind of see why. So I can kind of see it. So I can see why Mercedes and Trinity wanted to leave. But the best case scenario about them is that they aren't taking. They're not taking time out of their daily lives to be bitter over how they were booked about booked in WWE. Like they will still say like, oh. Like, they could say, like, oh, like, yeah, we had falling out. Like, yeah, we had a falling out. Yeah, we had problems, but 
we are thankful for we are still thankful we are still thankful for WWE you like you know what I mean like and her second longest reign was the Smackdown women's title and let's not forget about her Smackdown women's title reign as well like that was up there as one of her longest reigns but you get what I'm trying to say right like like I can see I can see the argument towards Mercedes that yeah she shouldn't be complaining because she got a lot of major opportunities but here's the thing if you were told you're gonna win the Royal Rumble have a big match with Charlotte Flair at Wrestlemania and then you get told and like you get told you're gonna have a big match of Charlotte Flair at Wrestlemania you're gonna get rewarded for your hard work in the pandemic like you like being picture being Sasha you've been told you're gonna get rewarded for your hard work in the pandemic and then you're told you're gonna win the Royal Rumble you're told you're gonna win the Royal Rumble and then you're told you're gonna go on to WrestleMania and beat Charlotte Flair for the title. But then next thing you get told, sorry, we're changing plans. We're gonna give it, we're gonna have Ronda Rousey come back and she's gonna win the Royal Rumble instead and she's gonna fight, uh, and she's gonna fight Charlotte instead. Like, wouldn't you be pissed? Wouldn't you be pissed that you were promised that? Like, wouldn't you be pissed off about that? I would be pissed. Like, like the company like literally promised me a big match. Like the company literally promised me a big match and then they changed their mind the last second. Like, yeah, I'd be pretty upset too. So, I, and they gave her the tag team titles as a con const as a constellation prize. And then they promised her that they would have her and Naomi be the focus of the women's tag team division and then and then they get told oh and then they get told we're gonna put you guys we're gonna put the two of you in a six-pack challenge Naomi is gonna win it to fight Bianca and we're gonna have Sasha fight Ronda yeah I, I don't I can't say I blame them for want for wanting to leave sure 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 Naomi versus Bianca Belair on paper does sound like a hell of a match. Don't get me wrong, that does sound like a hell of a match. But it need but it should have only happened if it made sense for it to happen. You can't just have it happen for the sake of it happening. You know what I mean? Like you got to you got to have a storyline build up for it. Like you got to give a reason for the match to happen. So I think that was more, more more the problem. And also John Laronitis was another one of the bigger bigger issues. Gotcha, you bitch. Remember, they replaced Ronda with Sasha and then they wanted Sasha to tag with Ronda. Yeah. Yeah, like why would Sasha want to tag? Why would Sasha want to tag with the woman that they literally replaced her with? Like, why would they let... Ah, you bastard. Why, why would she tag with the person that she was literally replaced with? That's why they swapped out... That's why they swapped it to Naomi. That's why they ended up swapping it... That's why they ended up swapping it to Naomi. Because people weren't going to be convinced. Yeah, they replaced Sasha with Ronda. Yeah, so, so, so yeah, I don't blame um, Sasha and Naomi for for what they had to go through. Like, I don't really blame them in the long run, but I do get people's point when they say, "Oh, they don't really they they had great careers," which they did have great careers, and again, they haven't taken it, and they have not taken shots. They have not thrown one jab at WWE since leaving. Funny enough, Diana Perrazzo, um, 
I guess took a shot at Trinity on impact in her in her segment because I heard her say something along the lines of unlike you Trinity I'm not a quitter that's what I heard her say so I guess she decided to take a little bit of a jab at her but it was all in good fun though it was all in good fun though it wasn't she wasn't saying it out of malice they never said they they never said they didn't have good careers yeah exactly they never said they didn't have good careers they just felt they deserved they just felt they deserved better for being there for so long they just felt they they just felt they deserved you know a little bit better for how long they were there for that was really the whole that's really the that's the main reason why they were upset it had nothing to do with how with their careers remember Saraya didn't want to take shots at WWE but she was also forced to yeah, but she's in AEW. She's in a company where, you know, Tony Khan loves... Loves that kind of stuff. you got to remember, she's in a company where Tony Khan loves that kind of stuff. That's the kind of stuff Tony Khan always wants people to do. Like they had that Max Kassler guy always taking shots at Buddy Murphy for his girlfriend being in a relationship with, um with Dominic and I kind of wish they'd knock that off because I find that annoying I find that a little annoying like yeah it was funny the first time but you continuously doing it every week it it doesn't doesn't come off funny anymore how the frig do I get to that last guy I'm trying to remember how to do it so that's the one thing you got to remember when you're in AEW of course you're gonna have shots thrown at you because that's just how Tony Khan operates unfortunately there's gotta be like a a path I haven't taken Yeah, same thing with him. You can be happy with your accomplishments. Like, there is nothing wrong with being happy with your accomplishments. But, I, but the wrestlers more hate their booking, if you know what I mean. If you know what I mean. Like, sometimes, like, sometimes they'll wish their booking was better. It, that's really all... That's really all they're trying to say they're trying to say their careers were great but they wish there was some things that they didn't you know enjoy like you can have things you didn't enjoy doing you can open up and say you didn't enjoy certain things ah oh, great That's really the point. And and I feel like Becky's kind of going to be the same way. Like when she eventually I think when Bailey and Becky eventually call it a career, they're going to talk about some of the things that they didn't really like. Because that's that's just how it is. And and the other, and, and again with the whole thing of oh women's division deserves better bullshit, like these are the same people that were saying the women's division deserves better, but yet these were the same people that were literally going off at Cora Jade because she said the last time she, she was on a premium live event. Like, just remember that. Like, WWE women's division deserves better, but yet Cora Jade was complaining about the last time she was on a premium live event, and then you get the... Then people bloody... Say, oh, stop bitching, stop complaining, man. Oh, stop complaining, Cora, you know? 
Like, they say the women's division deserves better, but yet they went off at her for complaining that she hasn't been on a premium live event since April. So do the women's division really deserve better? So does the women's division really deserve better? That's that's something that I that I, that I that I hate so much about the fans. Like they'll say something deserves better, but then they'll flip that on its head. Ah! Oh! I finally got up there and he got away. Oh, and I finally got up there too. Ah, oh, he's easy. Ah, oh, he's easy pickings too. All right, I just gotta wait for him to come back, and then I'll fry him. There, one of the most annoying missions finally done. One of the most annoying missions finally complete. Booyah! Now I can finally get out of here for good. So that's the thing I'm just trying to say, like, I wish fans would just understand Like, I, that's all I want, is people to just stop being fickle. If you're going to say the women's division deserves better, then don't bloody go off on the wrestlers. The th that's the thing that really irritates me so much about fans. Like, they want the women's division to be deserved better. Well, okay, you want the women's division to deserve better? Great! But don't get mad... When someone like Cora Jade speaks up and says that she hasn't been on a premium live event since April last year. May I ask why you don't like wrestlers being company people? Because sometimes you got to realize some of the stuff you're doing is bad. Like, if you're, like, look at Roman Reigns, for example. He, he is a company guy, but I think people fail to realize that that whole Baron Corbin stuff, that whole stuff with Baron Corbin, the dog food stuff, that really affected him. That really affect that affected him. That's why he wanted to go away. That's the main reason why he went away. Oh, what was the what was the level called again? I'm trying to remember what it was called. That's why being a company guy can sometimes be bad. Because you're just gonna continuously do everything you're told, even if it's something really shit. Even company guys like Seth, like, like, company guys like Seth, even he spoke up about some things. He didn't like the whole ending to his match with The Fiend. He told, he told Vince, I don't like this idea. We all remember the infamous Hell in a Cell match. We all know the infamous Hell in a Cell match. Like, Seth told Vince, uh, this is not a good idea. We, d we shouldn't do this. And Vince is like, nah, nah, everything will be fine. Let's go through with it. And then what happened? The fans ended up turning, ended up and end, ended up turning on Seth. That's why being a company guy can sometimes be bad, even though when you want to, even though you know something is bad, 
Thank and you for releasing me. Thank you for releasing me. That's my reason. That's why I think being a company guy can sometimes be bad. Yeah, but Charlotte... Even she's spoken up sometimes. Sometimes speaking up is a good thing, Sean. That's the point I'm trying to make. Speaking up is good for you. You can't just be all like, Yes, boss, I'll do this. Yes, boss, I'll do that. Yes, boss. Yes, boss, I'll do this for you. Yes, boss. Yes, boss. Even though this is even though this is stupid, yes, boss. I'll do this for you. Remember, Vince wanted the Revival to dress up like clowns. Remember, Vince wanted the Revival to dress up like clowns. Did, did, did you want the Revival to say, Yes, boss, we'll, we'll, we'll dress up like clowns for you. Yes, boss, we'll, 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 we'll look stupid. We'll, we'll, put, we'll, we'll, we'll dress, we'll look silly for you. We'll look silly for you. You know, that's the point I'm trying to make. Being a company guy isn't always a good idea. Even if it's stupid. You've got to use your voice sometimes. You can be a company guy and use your voice. You can be a company guy and girl and still use your voice. That's the point I'm trying to make. But no, you can't just be all like, Yes boss, yes boss, yes boss, yes boss. So Alexa Bliss isn't a company woman? I'm sure it's she- It's great to be free. It's great to be free. Alexa Bliss is the biggest company girl out of all the girls you mentioned. So, you're, so, basic, so basically, if, if Bailey left, she's not a company girl. If Seth left, he's not a company guy. You have rescued all the satyrs in Fracture Hill. Well, I don't think you understand it then, Sean. Then I then then uh, then then I'm sorry to disappoint you. I just don't think you understand I just don't think you understand it then. Well maybe Well, maybe if the bot, well, maybe if the boss wasn't such a dickhead and wasn't such an asshole and punished his wrestlers for saying no to his ideas, then maybe they, th then that that's why most wrestlers don't speak up because you got bloody people like Vince being all like, all right, fine, if you don't do what I say, I will, I will end your push, I'll end your push, I'll end your faction. If you don't accept my if you don't accept the name change I give you, I'll bury you, you know? Like I've been experimenting with You know what I'm trying to say? I'd like to try it if, if if the boss wasn't such a dickhead, if Vince was one of those guys that understood that people don't want to do the shit that he de does, then maybe the wrestlers will be more open to speak up. But that's why they don't speak up. Because they're afraid if they say something, Vince is going to be all like, What? Oh, I'm going to end your push! How dare you just... How dare you not listen to me, Vincent Kennedy McMahon! My ideas are the best! You know what I'm trying to say? That's why wrestlers don't speak up, because they're afraid they're going to get punished for it. Great! If, if, if their boss didn't punish them for speaking up, then it wouldn't be a big deal. Alright, this one's a bit harder, so I need to focus.
Yes! Oh, everyone has to speak up, even big names. No, you don't! Man, do my feet feel better. Would you look... I agree, though, Vince. Would you... All right. When I shoot him... But I also think Triple H needs to. But I also think Triple H is also a bit of a is also a bit of a flog. But I also think Triple H is 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 a bit of a flog as well for not for not for not listening to the fans. He's all like, oh, he's all about change. He's Mister. I'm here for change. I'm here to. I'm here to listen to the fans. Then why doesn't he listen to them? When they say women deserve better, why doesn't he be all like, okay, I'll I'll put more focus on the women. So I don't think so. I, so, me personally, I think Triple H is even even worse. We make a great team. Here, I was gonna give this to the Alchemist, but I'm a bit annoyed at him at the moment. Yeah, that's that's Vince for you. Yeah, that's Vince for you. Like no matter how many times you say no, he will he will continue he will he will force you to say what you don't want. He will force you to do. He will force you to go through with the thing you don't want to do. That's Vince for you. I can see Triple H being like that as well. Like, oh, please, like, hi, Dragon Boy. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I just want people to understand that sometimes using your voice is better. And yes, I will. And 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 before and before I wrap this stream up, I'll talk about something else as well that's also been on my mind quite a fair bit as well. I'll talk about this as well since it's been on my mind quite a fair bit as well. Um, the other thing I really can't stand is um, is how hostile the AEW women's division can be. Like, seriously. Like, Britt Baker is a great wrestler, but she needs to let go of her hatred for Thunder Rosa. Like, I don't know what's her deal. I don't know what's her deal with her. But, I, I keep seeing Britt Baker constantly talk shit about Thunder Rosa, and it makes me wonder, how can Rosa work there? It just makes me wonder how can Rosa work there when one person's literally having a hard time and like where one person's just constantly talking shit about you. And and it reminded me of the whole Sasha Alexa Bliss storyline. Well, not storyline. It just reminded me of Alexa Bliss and Sasha Banks when the two of them couldn't stand each other. Like even though they hated each other, they were still able to coexist and work together. They were still able to coexist and work together. They were still able to put on some good matches, even though they had total disdain for each other. But I just don't get what why Brit has a serious problem with Rosa. Yeah, and yeah, and also Sasha and Alexa were able to work things out. 
Like, I wish Britt Baker would just let it go and, and work things out with Rosa. Because if they can't work things out, then Tony Khan might just have to, you know, separate them. Like, he might just have to keep Britt on um, Dynamite and then put Rosa on Collision. Like, that's probably going to be the best case scenario that he's going to have to do. And then today, and then today, I see this situation about Ruby Soho. I don't know what that, what, what that was all about. I really don't know what that was all about, but I've been but I've been seeing all this shit about about Ruby Soho. Like someone was saying bad things about her and I saw Soraya obviously standing up for her outcast friend and and I just saw a whole bunch of people going, We're team Ruby, we're team Ruby and I'm just like, Whoa, what's going on with this whole what's going on? Who's talking shit about Ruby? So I didn't understand the whole thing. Like, sure, AEW may have the better women's division when it comes to in-ring and talent-wise. But I just don't get... The, the only bad thing about AEW is that they're ve they, 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 they have so much drama. That's really the bad thing about them. They, they have so much drama. Also, it's also like the heat punk had with the elite. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. It's like... It, 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 ex exactly. Like, it's it's ridiculous how AEW just have so much drama. That's my main problem with AEW. They, they just have so much drama. Like, they need to just quit the drama and, 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 and do better. That's really all, like feel like they should really be doing right now just quit the drama quit being drama queens and just friggin do your jobs be professional and do your jobs like I just think it's really annoying Ruby and this Liv Eusto Eusto not sure how you say that say her name must have history and Ruby doesn't seem to want her there. Oh, I, uh, uh, oh. Oh, it's, oh, I see. It's one of those. Oh, I need to kill one more enemy. The water workers have captured most of our baby turtles and the boxes they put them in are incredibly strong. With a more powerful flame attack, maybe you could break open the boxes and release them. Yeah, that's my main problem with AEW. Like, they may have a great division, but they really need to. But they, but the drama, yeah, that really needs to stop. That's really the next thing that AEW needs to focus on. Well, that's... Well, people have said... Well, that's the crew for you, man. Like, the crew is a really... Look, I'm a big fan of Mercedes, but her fan base are just atrocious. But her fan base are just, are, is just atrocious. 
I love I love her to death, but my god are her fans annoying. Same thing with Alexa and her fans. They're really annoying too. Like, that's my main, that's my main gripe with Mercedes and Alexa, like, they can be good wrestlers, but I really hate their fans, like, their fans are just super annoying. Well, not all of them are annoying. Well, not all of the- well, not all of Alexa's fans are annoying. There are some good ones. There are some good ones, but a good amount of them can be annoying. And I'm not saying you are one of them. I'm just saying her fans can be annoying. That's the main reason why the, the Mercedes crew and the Alexa Blissfits can't get along because they're both because both sides are very egotistical both both sides are very egotistical Um So I can break that open with the flame. There are some other good, there are other good Mercedes fans, like the ones that get fed up with, with people talking smack about them. Okay, there's one more. But I do have to be fair, Sean. But I do have to be, but I do have to be fair and say that, whoa. You kind of were a little annoying when, during the stages when I didn't like Alexa. I'm not saying you were fully annoying, I'm just saying you were a little annoying. Because during the stages when I didn't like Alexa, you were just always like, Oh, please give her another chance, please give her another chance, you just... You were just a, you just... Yo, title friends will make a very good soup. If I can catch them, you can try to save them if you like. But I'm feeling awfully hungry. Your turtle friends will make very good soup. Alright, so the whole... Purpose of this mission is very... Simple. 
just knock them in the water. Don't let them don't let them go into the pot. So you saved a few turtles. There are more where those came from. Here, take this orb and go away. <laughs> Here, take this orb and go away. That one took a bit. Get your back going. But yeah, if you weren't, but but uh, all I'm saying is, Sean, if you weren't really pestering me and annoying me during that period where I didn't like Alexa, then maybe I wouldn't cons then I, then maybe I wouldn't say say that about you all that much, but. Sometimes I just want people to... Sometimes I just wish people just didn't come off annoying. I'm not saying all people can be annoying, but... Hell, even... Hell, sometimes even I think I, I'm annoying. Sometimes even I think I'm annoying. Sometimes I think I annoy a lot of, lot, lot, lot of you half the time. Sometimes I think I'm annoying. Oh, I gotta be quick. So I gotta be quick for this one. Nah, so I gotta be quick here. Where is it? 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 Ah! Damn it! Like I said, even I, even I think I'm annoying. All right, it's here. All right, it's here. So it's right around. Where that, where that pink guy is, where that pink jellyfish is, where that pink starfish is, we'll use that starfish. All right, that perp, that pink starfish. That's where I need to be. So let's grab the power up and run like hell. Oh, damn it! Ah, well that, well that's not gonna work. Oh jeez. Okay, I'm trying, alright. I'm going, alright. Let's try that again. Sacred thingamajig as a token of our everlasting gratitude. I think it's more of a starfish. I think it's more of a starfish than a jellyfish. 
I think it's Patrick Star. Let's try. All right, let's try. Let's try this again. I know I can beat this because I've done it before. Jeez. to buy potatoes, but now I don't need it. Yay! Yay, we, re we rescued the turtles. The turtle race are saved, thanks to Spyro the Dragon. Enough. Yeah, I'm just about to wrap up the stream, 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 stream now. Anyways, so that'll be enough. That 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 that, that that'll be enough for, for for today. So, thank you all for tuning in, and I will see you all next time. Hit that like button and subscribe and I'll see you all next time.